guys we want to look at. Um, but these are kind of neat too, like this. this the whiskey jugs. Kind of yeah. Or like those up there. That's that's about the same as this one. So this one's a little taller, but well, these I put beads in for oil lamps, and these I put handles on for whiskey jugs. Oh yeah. Oh. oh, you got my. Oh, you've got your phone. Yeah, I'm filming them. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think about filming him. I'm just, I was just uh, doing the... I've had a lot of folks film me doing this and promise to put it on YouTube. I hadn't seen it yet. <laughs> we will. John's good about it. And then you can just link it. You have a website, but I, could, I was a little oh, confused yeah. looking at your website because it looked like you had more than one. No, it's a... Our it's, email address is a dot com. Uh-huh. Frontier.com or the... We are riverwoodpottery.com, uh -huh. and then our email address is at frontier.com, Riverwood Pottery oh, at okay. Frontier. So. so I'm just making that even cylinder, so if this is going to be a beer stein, I'm about there. So. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to find uh, Google. Oh, find your website here. Since I'm going to pick it up, I'm scraping all that water off. And in the process, I make it pretty smooth. Mm. And then I've got to get the water out of the inside. So that'll cause it to crack. And then I'm making a bottle, so I've got to start shaping this. So I noticed that does everything basically start with your basic shape in the bottom? Cylinder, yeah. I start with a cylinder, then I make a vase, a pitcher, a bottle, whatever. <laughs> The only thing that's different is a bowl because I make the bowl from the beginning. I pull the bowl shape. See, and this is the basic whiskey jug shape that you think of. And you've seen them around forever, a little strap handle on them. These I feel a little bit more volume in them. Yeah. Come on in the house. I was just thinking it'd be nice with some little flower things, you know, fake flowers in there. Oh, to use as a vase? Yeah. And then this, I do something a little different than most people. I turn these into 21st century bottles. I'll blow them up. That's funny. You got a good one if you got that one on film. Yeah, he's got it. Okay, and then I make a a shape up here that can hold my wick, uh, my bead. And then when I blow it up like that, it really loosens the body up. So I've got to come down and slick it down one time like that. And then the very bottom. And then I come in afterwards and trim that bottom and smooth up all the rough edges. And so every one of these ends up being different. Sometimes more blow, they blow up more than others. And the last thing is make sure that's shaped. <laughs> you ever tried to make pottery? No, I have not. Not that way. Not on a wheel. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks so easy when you yeah. watch them do when it. When you watch them.